Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a very simple and quick recipe that you can add to your regimen to help regrow your hair in areas that you've lost hair or perhaps in areas where you have thin hair. Um, this will help you regain thickness and essentially help to promote healthy and faster high growth so if you're interested definitely be sure to keep on watching now if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for your love and your support guys i really really appreciate it if you're new here please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family now let's hop right into the video so to begin with we are going to need some fenugreek seeds now fenugreek may slow down the ability of DHT to attach to your hair follicles and essentially what DHT is is a hormone that has been linked to hair loss so essentially if you can stop that hormone from working then essentially you can prevent your hair from falling out or or hair loss in general fenugreek also uh, can increase hair thickness and hair growth now after using fenugreek guys we will be going in with some rosemary now rosemary has been scientifically proven to help to stimulate hair growth um, by increasing the blood flow to the scalp prevent baldness and essentially um, stimulate new hair growth in balding areas now the next one will be some green tea just so you can see here green tea also is super beneficial because it supports the growth and regrowth of hair uh, it contains something called carotenoids, zinc, um, ascorbic acid, and these are known to encourage, encourage the regrowth of hair. Um, so it's super amazing for hair growth. So I'm using two tea bags. Now I'm also going to add some water to this um, just so that I can bring it to the boil. So for this quantity, I'm using about three glasses of water. I don't know exactly what the quantity is like in cups, but feel free to alter this based to your preference. So I'm just going to go ahead and allow this to simmer just for about maybe five to six minutes until you get a really dark colored liquid and that's how you know it's ready and also your fenugreek seeds would have doubled in size and that's how you can tell that is nice and ready so this is what it looks like after it's been simmering for about five minutes so allow it to cool down and then we're just going to go ahead and strain it so you can see my liquid here is pretty nice and dark right and that's what you want essentially Abstract, yeah, it's complicated. What you say, the way you act, well, it makes me so confused. Now, once that's all strained, we will be adding it to a spray bottle just so that it's easier to use, and that's pretty much it, right? It is super, super simple, very quick to make, yet very, very effective for hair growth. And I must say, guys, this has a really, really good smell. I don't really mind the smell at all and it's a spray that you can use pretty much every single week without necessarily having to worry about washing your hair because of the smell because the green tea in this and the rosemary just gives it a very pleasant smell so I'm now going to show you guys how to use it um, to help with hair growth. Now I'm not going to show you how I do my entire hair because otherwise as you can imagine the video is going to be extremely long which we don't want right. So I'm just going to do a few sections and do the rest of my hair off camera. So I usually work on my hair in sections guys and I suggest you do the same just because it's just easy to manage it that way. So. Um, just get a section of hair detangle like finger detangle and then essentially I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this to my hair so I'm gonna spray to my roots my ends basically throughout the length of my hair until every single strand of hair is saturated with this Now after spraying it with this guys, you can go ahead and use any leave-in conditioner of your choice. It could be short bought or one that you've made. 
um, or you can just use this on its own just like I will be doing in today's video just because I found it to be super moisturizing on its own to be honest um, so you didn't really you don't really need like any addition but obviously if you feel the need to use anything else it's okay to also go in with uh, leave-in conditioner which you can use straight after look at how moisturized my hair is looking already right you can already tell because it's, it's definitely shrunk a lot now I'm using one of my um, hair growth oil here just a silver moisture but it's okay to use olive oil coconut oil argan oil or any other oil that you may have available um to seal the moisture or even a hair butter if you've made some um or if you've got some available so essentially you just need to work that through your hair um also apply a bit to your um to your ends because obviously it's the driest and the oldest part of your hair and you don't want that part to break because essentially if it constantly breaks you are going to experience um you know hair loss essentially so you have the impression your hair is not growing but it's actually growing it's just that it's growing but it's breaking right um so that's what you want to avoid so after that guys as you can see i'm just going in with my white tooth comb just so i can properly detangle my hair and essentially after i've done that guys i'm just going to twist and move on to the next section and repeat until the rest of my hair is completely done all this time I've been feeling hopeless till you came around, came around All this time You're the only reason I'm not chasing highs, chasing highs What is love? Lately I've been wondering just what is love, what is love Okay guys, in case you're wondering how often you should be using this spray, um, you pretty much know what answer I'm going to give you guys. So I would suggest twice a week, it's such a good time to moisturize your hair. Now twice a week is just a guide guys, okay, so you have to listen to your hair. Some of us have different hair types, different hair porosity, which means that our hair stays moisturized for different amount or lengths of time really so that's why it's important you need to listen to your hair so if your hair feels dry then you need to apply moisture uh, it may be that you need to moisturize your hair three times a week or four times a week compared to somebody else that may only need moisturizing once or twice a week so it really just depends on you but twice a week is just a rough guide and also this hair spray will also help you to stimulate hair growth in areas in which you have lost hair or perhaps that you're experiencing thinning um, so essentially if that's the goal for you i will suggest you use as often as possible because essentially hair growth is all about consistency guys so if you take care of your hair very occasionally then you are not necessarily going to see results or you may see results but it's going to take quite a long time so that's why you have to be pretty consistent with whatever it is that you're doing and when it comes to moisture guys it is super super important because dry hair just naturally breaks and our hair naturally thrives in moisture so um unlike caucasian hair for example where you you know their hair gets really oily and really moisturized pretty easily ours is very different so we have to put a bit more of an effort into keeping it moisturized and essentially doing this over time will help you a lot with retaining length now if some of you guys think that your hair is not growing it actually is growing but it's just that it's breaking um but perhaps at the same rate or even faster uh, faster than it's growing and that's why you're not experiencing um length retention over time so that's why you need to really take care of moisturizing your hair basically it is super super important so this is what my hair looks like just after using this spray just so you can see it is super super moisturized i did not use anything else just this spray and oil and you can see my results super amazing so i hope you guys go ahead and give it a try let me know what you think in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in my next one bye